Irina and uh, yeah. next, uh, Irina Vervin is on deck, uh, and we got Evan Chevron. Uh, Chevron, right? Chevron, yeah. Chef. Chef. Yeah, comedy chateau. Give it up for Buddy for keeping this open mic going. Yeah. Um, yes, my name is Evan. I am from the East Coast, uh, which means I have a sense of humor. <laughs> like a lot of people in LA these days. Um, hard to joke around. I feel like the the Me Too movement has backfired on women a bit, uh, especially for me personally, uh, because I don't talk to them anymore. Um, I stopped doing that because. I'm afraid. Uh, I don't like rejection either. I've always let them come to me, um, so that is why I'm single at 40. Um, I uh, have been engaged three times, so third time was not the charm. It's a, more like three strikes and you're out. Uh, yeah, true story. Uh, big, big into uh, bagels and cream cheese. I'm a stereotypical Jew that way. Um, I know a lot of people look at me and they think Jew Rogan. <laughs> um, so, and I get that sometimes. Uh, every culture has their version of bagels and cream cheese, though. You know, um, Italians have pizza. The Mexicans and Latin American countries have quesadillas. Um, the French, of course, they have baguettes and cigarettes. Um, they put some some cheese on the cigarettes to put them out, and then they squeeze it in the sandwich. Um, that's why they're so rude. <laughs> that's the reason. Um, but uh, yeah, if you ever met a French Jew, that is a real hassle. I used to wait tables and I had, you know the old saying like, oh they don't know, they don't tip in Europe. Well, uh, when you live in downtown LA and I'm waiting on you at least once a week for three years and you don't tip, you're just an asshole. I'm sorry, uh, there's no excuse at that point. Especially when you come in and just drink coffee and talk. Um, anyway, enough of the Jew on Jew crime. Um, I, uh, yeah, I grew up uh, going to bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs are fun, um, but it's probably the horniest thing that a young Jewish man ever is without having sex. I hadn't had sex at that point, I was 13. I later lost my virginity uh, on Yom Kippur to a Catholic schoolgirl. I was 15 and she was 18. Um, you're supposed to fast on Yom Kippur. It wasn't supposed to be that fast. Um, there was two types of fasting going on, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I, it was rape. I was raped. Uh, I was happy to be raped. Uh, it's a weird law, right? Because technically I'm not lying, I was raped um, when I lost my virginity, but it was, I, was, I was waiting to be raped for so long. Like, by law, anyway, according to law, I was waiting to be raped by, longer than I can remember. The second I figured out what sex was, I wanted to have sex with my camp counselor, who I lost my virginity to. I won't say her name, just to protect her under the statute of Maine law. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but she was 18, I was 15. It was amazing. And she left me for a fireman. I'm not even joking. Had her ba had his baby, he left her. Now they have a beautiful family. But her daughter added me on Instagram and I had to block her because she looked hotter than her mom when she was 18. And I'm not trying to go down that route. So hopefully I learned from her mom. Anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, Evan.